Basic Math, Chapter 16, Section 6, Perimeter. The perimeter is the total distance around a figure. Example 1, find the perimeter of this pentagon. Add the length of the sides. And you get 27 feet. The perimeter of the pentagon is 27 feet. An equilateral triangle has three sides are equal. You can find the perimeter if you know the length of one side, because all the sides are the same. So find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle whose side measures five inches. So if we know one side is five inches, then we can write in that all sides have five inches because an equilateral triangle has us all sides being the same length. And in this case, we just add up the five inches for three sides, and the perimeter is 15 inches. For rectangles, we can do a similar thing. The opposite sides are equal lengths. You can find the perimeter if you know the length and the width. So for example, three, find the perimeter of a rectangle whose width is six feet and length is 10 feet. So we're only given the measurements for the width and the length. So if this is six and this is 10, then this is also six and the top is also 10. And so that's what they did for the picture. And then you add up the lengths of all the sides, and in this case, it's 32 feet for the perimeter. So let's find the perimeter for each of these figures. With our, what is this an isosceles triangle here? We got two sides being eight and one side nine. So that's going to be 16 plus 9 to give us 25 centimeters. And then number 2 has a rectangle with 11, 11, 2, and 2. So that's going to be 26 inches. And since one width is 3, then this width is 3. Since this length is 8, then that length is 8. And then the perimeter is all of those lengths added together. So 16 plus 6, 22 feet. So that is the idea for each of the figures. You're going to add up all of the lengths. When you get all of the lengths added up, that sum is the perimeter. And there's more practice for you to do in your workbook for chapter 16, section 6. Thank you.